Mmm. Oh, yeah. All right, gentlemen, take your seats. Let's get this over before lunch. Clyde Rose of the Homicide Squad has decided to take early retirement. We will all miss Floyd and the steely edge he brought to his police work. The department has arranged a wee drink at the Galway Arms to quench the mighty thirst a man gets from 25 years of police work. Floyd's departure leaves a place at the top table, and the chief has seen fit to promote Cole Phelps from burglary to the homicide desk. Stand up, Phelps. Take a chair. You're in the major leagues now, Sonny. Rusty Galloway, a fine lawman of the old school, will be taking you under his wing. Your first case is the murder of a woman, found last night and bearing all the signs of the werewolf. Get out to the scene, lads. Do you have the address? Did you guys hear that? Promoted from burglary? Burglary was an entire desk that they cut because it wasn't going to fit on the disc. All over KGPL. It's off Temple Street between Belmont and Glendale. I'd rather you do it. Tell him a bench has wet paint on it and he has to touch it. You know the way. You can drive. What happened to Rose? Parker wants the chief's job. Word is it's either going to be him or Thad Green. So they're both clearing the decks. So where does that leave you, Galloway? Leaves me saddled with a chump like you, Phelps. I didn't ask for you and I don't want you, so keep it to yourself. See if he can learn something about seeing how a real cop operates. What did he mean by the werewolf? The Dahlia. The Daily News came out calling him the werewolf killer. The examiner came up with the Black Dahlia. We any closer to catching him? Not a chance. Six months and hundreds of guys running down leads, we got nothing. You don't think this has anything to do with it? No, I don't. Ninety percent of murders are domestic, Phelps. Some guy gets into a beef with his wife, he takes it too far. It'll be the same. But cutting someone in half and leaving them off the sidewalk, that's a one-off. Why so many women this year? Because of the war. You should know that. Guy gets to kill people every day in combat. Comes home, he's expected to take lip from his wife. What do you think's gonna happen? It's that simple. Like I said, most of the time it is. Guy's a real asshole. How about a scoop for the examiner, Galloway? You could use some good press. Another tramp, another message. Is the werewolf back in business, boys? Do you have a mother, asshole? A sister? How about showing some respect for this poor woman? Let us do our job, and Detective Galloway will give you a statement later. He's good, Rusty. He even sounds genuine. That's Phelps, guys. The war hero. Defending the honor of murdered humps. You're used to it, Phelps. Move it along, guys. You got your pictures, you got your headlines. Now scram. Hello, news. I see Bush. Oh, my God. If you're under the age of... Probably eight. You should, probably shouldn't be watching this next part. You're going to see Pussy Bush, and it's not something you should be seeing as a child. Patrolman, this your beat? Yes, sir. Well, part of it. Kids park here. They use it like a lover's lane. It's a working neighborhood. Some trouble, but nothing like this. It's uh, known locally as the Moors. You were first on the scene? Yes, detective. No one's disturbed the body? No, sir. We cleared out them vulture reporters so Pinker and the coroner could work. They're waiting to talk to you. Go house to house and see what you come up with. Are you subscribe? The Warren! Thank you for subscribing! 
You are number 10 for today. That means five more subscribers are officially riding the... Thank you very much for subscribing and supporting the channel. You're awesome. Thank you for allowing me to do this. All right. Let's see. What can you tell me about the shoe prints? Men's size eights. Pinker eight. listed impressions for me to small. compare back at the lab. Yeah, we'll have some other. I gotta pick another sub goal, and we'll do another sub, some sort of sub, some sort of event at X number of subscribers, like you did with Horror Week. I gotta think of something else. Has the scene been secured? Trollman Hulahan saw to it. The victim's personal effects are still where they fell. Take a look. I have to. I need to comb this crime scene for any evidence. The victim's bag. It's in there. Vital Brand clue. New. Can't be the one used on the body. Uh, quite a ways away, chicken. Still, we had a lot of unsubscribers after Horror Week happened, which was expected. Looks like some kind of puzzle or parlor here. Back up. This is a puzzle. This is a really dumb one. Oh my god, it's America. The Bomba Club. Why steal a table lighter? That's an ex that's a crazy elaborate uh lighter. Jesus. Cause of death? Could be the head injuries. She has been badly stomped. The cuts look superficial. What caused the blunt force injury to the face? Could be anything from a baseball bat to a lug wrench. I'll have more details after the autopsy. Hmm. Interesting. Fuck you, BD. I see booby right in this area. Right in this area, there's a booby. Right in this area here, boobies. No. I don't know. I should investigate her bruise. It could be a vital clue. What about this wound on the finger? Something removed. A ring, most likely. I assume it was taken post mortem. Hello, Tadding. Yes, tub boobs. I don't know why am I like sitting on her bush? I don't this is that wait a minute, I just saw it. Pay very close attention to this area of the screen right here for a vital clue. Writing on the victim. BD. Like Dahlia? Tex? Your guess is as good as mine. Could be something to it, or it could be the killers trying to throw you off the scent. Either way, I'll run tests on the lipstick. Any idea of the time of death? From the temperature, I'd say after midnight. 
I'll confirm with you later. Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst on a case like this. Mm, boobies. Okay, sorry. Serious murder happened. Fake character. Great. How are we gonna look getting around in this thing, Cole? Well, we're taking the coroner's thing. He's fine. He's got it. He can take our car. You can put her in the back seat. Jesus H. Christ! Holy God damn! I've always found the siren useful in situations like this. Sorry. <laughs> Coming through. Official police business, Where everybody. For my money, copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? A big head to hang on your wall. Caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got me. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, Ooh. odd shot. What's more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us a known in the court? He clearly has a thing for power. Power over women. Why not power over the police department as well? Let me finish, fellas. A guy opens his mouth again after six months of school. For some opportunist who's been reading about the BD figures, he'll rip off the M.O. and get himself a freebie. That's not totally fantastic. You know, the Examiner and the Daily News might be good at coming up with monikers, but they're terrible for police work. There's a reason we didn't get the son of a bitch after the short murder it was them, locusts. Where do you think the werewolf killer is now? Uh, dead by his own hand, stationed somewhere else with the armed forces. San Quentin, another town, another country, who knows? So Phelps, I understand you want to turn this into a big case, but it doesn't work. Yet. Whoops. I think I blew that case. <laughs> Can we get to the bomba? Man could die of thirst on a case like this. Location. Bomba. What? It was it was a new strategy. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Come on, Dubby. Get in here. Come on. Book it. Book it. The werewolf? For my money, a copycat. We can't rule it out. We need to work the evidence. <laughs> You'd love that, wouldn't you? Big head to hang on your wall. The caller of the decade. You've been working evidence on BD case for six months and got nicked. There's a difference, Rusty. Oh, yeah? I just started working it today. Okay, odd shot. What's what? more likely? The werewolf comes back around, leaving us in. <laughs> Another performance review after that? That's okay, salty rutabaga. Being here is support enough. If you can't subscribe, it's fine. Cocktails? It's like afternoon. Why are there cocktails already? Hello there. Gentlemen, what can I get you? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. Were you working here last night? Yes. How can I help, officer? You can start with your name. Garrett Mason. You're the regular bartender on nights? I'm a temporary barman. I work for an agency. I fill in at bars across town. Do you remember a woman who came in here last night? Uh, five feet seven, about 110 pounds, blonde hair, about 40 years of age. You mean Celine Henry? Yes. Do you know anything about her? I don't. But the owner, Mr. McCall, serves her most nights. Would you like to speak to her? I would. He sits at the back of the club. Where's the hibiscus? You can't miss it. Is there anything else? 
Fire away, Phelps. I'll stay here. Uh, I'm part. Do I raid people? Yeah, we raided Russia not too long ago. I drove me up to Mohammed. Why, hello there. Detective Phelps, LAPD. We're investigating the murder of Celine Henry. Do you know her? Celine? Christ. Why does everyone say Christ? Everyone's saying Christ is the Sure, I know her. She and I and Jacob, her husband, we go way back. She was here last night? Sure, she's a regular. Celine is. was a. lovely woman. Was Mrs. Henry here with anyone last night? Not at first. Celine already had quite a head start. But she attracted attention? Certainly. A few gentlemen became very enamored with her and her stories. One guy in particular. Do you know him? No. He's been in a couple of times. Did they leave together? Yes. At around 11. If it helps, I made the guy's license plate. Cargus94! Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. I think this could be a great help, sir. Thank you. So, uh, Only six numbers? Mrs. Henry appeared to be missing a ring, torn from her finger, but not her wedding finger. Celine always wore a red garnet ring on the large side. Larger than life, like... Selene herself. Did she have it a long time? Sure. Since way back in her flying days. Did her husband buy it for her? No, it was, uh, it was before Jacob. Well, I have no evidence to say the contrary, but you're acting like you're extremely constipated or someone tickling your butt with a cucumber. But what is that face? Jeez. He looks so uncomfortable. It's like, oh God, my hemorrhoids are flaring up again. Mm. Mm. Oh god. I can get to the bathroom. Oh, they hurt. Oh, they hurt. What? Liar! I think you know where the ring came from, and I think you're going to tell me. Okay. I bought it years ago. I carried a torch for Selene in those days. As I always have. The old man never knew about it. You know the husband? Sure I know Jacob. He was in the Corps. He met Selene on a furlough and married her when the war was finished. He put up with a load of shit. Do you think he killed his wife? No. No, not in my opinion. Now you look like a child who stole a cookie out of the cookie jar and doesn't want his mommy to know. So if it wasn't Jacob, then you probably let her out of here with the guy who killed her. How do you feel about that? Stole the attitude, will ya? I tried to get on to Jacob. I rang him up. Asked him to come pick her up, like usual. But... He refused. And she picked some night to push him over the edge. I rang him back around 11.30, but... Got no answer. Thanks, Mr. McColl. You've been a big help. One more thing. Would you have an address for Celine? 142 North Union Avenue. God knows I had to send her home in enough cabs to remember that. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Hey, what's the hurry? My stool is just starting to warm up nicely. So, uh... Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. 
Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a registered owner on a license plate, 2boy8899. 2boy? Yes, Detective. Two boys? I'll contact the DMV. Shall I relay the details via KGPL? Please. Thanks. I need two boys stat delivered to my vehicle. He's a bit of a gangster, but he treats me nice. You talking to yourself, lady? Reminds me of those old people that like sit sit alone and talk to themselves. I need uh two boys, one car, please. Thank you. You can drive. Features the best live programming. And you find the booze helps you get through a working day. Sharp is my investigatory instincts, Phelps. A smart lawyer might use that to throw out anything you collect today. A smart man might know it's unwise to stand between the patient and his medicine. As long as you're not falling over, Rusty, I'll let it slide. <laughs> That's mighty kind of you, Phelps. This guy's now you a picked dick. the wrong job of a healthy thirst offends you, Cole. We mm -hmm. owe it to this city to do the best we can in this position. As homicide detectives, that responsibility is all the more serious. Always the politician. It's not polit- Zeridan says, you look like a bald version of my ball sack? Is this just- is that supposed to be a joke? Zeroed in, if I wanted a joke, I would watch you take a leak in the bathroom. Yeah, well, if only you'd been there, choir boy. Betty Short would be alive, the Japs would have spared Pearl Harbor. Our ancestors wouldn't have tasted the forbidden fruit. Minor syntactical error, Detective Galloway. I never claimed to be able to prevent crimes. I only suggested a proficiency in solving them. Guess that's the drink slowing you down. Oh my god, brother, oh brother. Worse than I could ever have imagined. Horny resident, Henry residents. Let's say hello. I'll try the back door. Wait here a second. I'm good, Sean. How are you? I'm drinking vodka. Side window's been jimmied. Looks like somebody's creeped the joint. Jimmied? Wait, he said some. Did he say someone creeped the joint? Someone. Subscribers, help me out here. They said someone creeped the joint. I had to go back, Doctor. The fires are cathartic. They allow you to confront your past. You said the house would be empty. Are you taking the medication I have prescribed? You said the house would be empty. I heard them screaming. The circumstances were unfortunate. My colleagues had made all the necessary arrangements. You said the house would be empty. You're killing me! The deaths were unfortunate, but you have dealt with death before. I want you to come to the clinic and we can deal with it. You said the house would be empty! How can I find peace? <laughs> hmm. 
No coffee for him. He's cut off, officially. My god. How am I gonna find peace? What is this, Amelia Earhart? Don't think this is anything. Something? Hmm. Don't think this is any right use on. to us. I used to watch Taps, the Ghost Hunter show, but until they started faking everything. Because they miraculously started finding something spooky every show. Miraculously. Size nines. Above average for a lady. She just has a wide set vagina. Whatever. That's how it works, like the bigger the shoe size, the wider the gap. Hmm. I doubt it. I found a bowl. Now if there were cereal in there. Burglar used the pry bar. Why did you kick the door in? You think I'm gonna climb through a broken window in a $30 suit? You got another thing coming, Buster. Wait. $30 suit? $30? That's cheap. If you sober up, you can find me at apartment 2. Selene and Jacob are obviously having problems. It speaks to motive. Crime scene evidence still weighs against it being the husband. Jacob could give us something to go on. One of my exes drank like this, you'd be feeling the back of my hand. Call in burglary and get technical services out here. I'll talk to the neighbors. Don't take all day about it, Phelps. I'll get nasty when I'm thirsty. $30 in 1940s today it would be like $10. So it's like a $10 suit. At 142 North Union. Missing ring. Tiffany. The rest of the stuff is junk. Might explain the missing ring. That reminds me of my sister Tiffany. She's a total bitch. Don't even get me started. The hell is that? Doesn't look like anything. Is that a sex toy from the forties? You like attach the other one end to a hose, the other end up to the cooter, and just. Hmm. Right, let's have a chat with the neighbors. Hello there, madam. I knew it wasn't safe around here anymore. LAPD, are you acquainted with Celine Henry, Miss? Horgan! Jennifer Horgan! I've known Celine for more than ten years. Our children grew up together. What's going on, officer? Did you see Mrs. Henry go out last night? Well, I'm no busybody, you understand, but... Celine had been drinking. And she and poor, long-suffering Jacob had a terrible row. I think Jacob may have given her a black eye. He stormed out and she went back inside. Did he come back? No. Celine was listening to music and shouting until she left around 10 p.m. She was very drunk to have been driving. But she is not the sort of person you can stop from doing something when her dander is up. What is this about, officer? Is Celine all right? I'm afraid Mrs. Henry has been murdered, ma'am. Murdered? Oh, my God. I'm afraid I need to go and, and sit down. Uh, 
<laughs> she farted. Oh my god. Did I get all of the clues? Four clues remaining. What did I miss? Something in the house still. Hello, Carm. You're new to the stream? Well, welcome. If you're not, if you're easily offended by sexual humor, if you don't like men without hair, or you like, you don't like puns, then you might not want to watch this channel. This game is full of both. No good to me. But welcome. Oh, picture. A regular Amelia Earhart her day. The ring looks distinctive. Is that it? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's see what Jacob has to say for himself. I don't think Jacob is our man, but we should see what he has to say. Go ahead and get us there, buddy. You're behind the wheel. Jacob Henry had a violent argument with his wife last night. He's looking more and more likely. Yeah, for my money, the brother. Yeah, that cue means you got all the clues. Probably deserve it. The skipper says bring him in. Keep the hacks off our backs for a while. Fine by me. So it ain't the werewolf killer after all. Good to see you've come to your senses, Cole. I always said work the evidence. I only stipulated a connection to the BD killer as an avenue of investigation we should leave open. And as far as I'm concerned, it still is. You bought a used TV with bugs in it? Oh, God. Okay, Phil. That's We're gross. Hard. You follow my lead. You Jacob Henry? Yeah. Who's asking? LAPD. You're under arrest for the murder of your wife, Celine Henry. Murder? Celine? Save the dramatics oh, oh my for God. RKO, pal. You got bigger problems. What the hell are you talking about? You, you come in here, you, you tell me that Celine is... Take a seat, Mr. Henry. She's... We're going to have a look around, I... then we'll talk. Jesus, I'm sorry. I... I... He's a good actor, I'll give him that. The alcoholism illness? I get even the slightest hint that you're a flight risk, pal. Alcoholism is not an illness. It's a hobby. Jeez. I think I found the murder weapon. It doesn't tell me anything. As you know, screw this. You think the atmosphere's thick in here? Wait till you try the gas chamber. Oldest trick in the book. I've seen this puzzle's been in so many games. So many games. He'll be back anymore. Then the oldest problem there is what to do about the old lady. Thanks for the offer to do something about my wife. Mm. If I'm walking on the boxes like it's nothing. Nothing back here. Uh, in this game, they don't ex they use the gas chamber to execute people. Baseball bat, huh? I don't think this is going to help us. Uh. 
What other evidence? Let me check your car outside. Actually, let's just go ahead and use a point. Oh, I go in this room. Aha! I knew it! Packing your bags there, mister! Size 11s. Now I know why she married him. Damn! Boy's packing some heat. He doesn't fuck around with a pistol. He goes right for a bazooka. Are those chickens lying together? A weird painting. Let's have a little chat, you and I. So who could have killed Celine? Where did she go last night, Jacob? A bar, I suppose. Look, I don't know. You're a goddamn liar. You know where she went, Jacob. You're lying. Why would I help you if you keep lying to me? Look, I'm telling you, I don't know. Well, you were at the Bomba Club with her, weren't you? We know she went to the Bomba Club. <sighs> the bartender there. He calls me if things are getting out of hand, and I go, and I bring her home. He called me last night. I said no. Phone rang a couple more times after that. I ignored it. I'm going to have to live with that. You lie, shadow to shadow. You know you've got a big old dong. When did you last see your wife, Mr. Henry? Last night. Uh, I went to see her. We talked. Things got a little out of hand. I left. You too, Kelix. Let's say I believe you. You don't remember what time you last saw your wife alive? Look, I'm sorry. I left. Maybe 9 p.m. Might have been a little later, but right around 9. Why did you kill her, Jacob? Things will go better if you come clean about it. That's a lousy thing to say. I never gave up on my wife. <laughs> Those eyes. <laughs> oh, man. Your eyes are more shifty than a fat guy running down the road. Hmm. You're a goddamn liar! I don't believe you, Jacob. I think you didn't have the guts to do it yourself, so you had someone else do it. You want to back that up with something, Big Mouth? Huh? Yeah, how about this death note you got on your goddamn thing over there? The note by the phone suggests you meant her harm. You want the truth? Truth is, I was sick to death of her. I was trying to have her committed. We're still going to need you to come downtown, Mr. Henry. We can get this all down on paper, Jacob. How you got fed up with your wife and how you figured killing her would bury all your troubles. 
kill my own wife? She was a loss of the tramp, and you just couldn't stand it anymore. Shut your goddamn mouth. <laughs> so now you're going to tell me you loved her? Ah, the DA goes all gooey over remorse, Jacob. Woo! You're awful hot on Okay. Oh. Oh, hell no. Bam! Call it in and get a squad car dispatched. And check for messages. I'll keep old Slugger here company. <laughs> Such a goddamn mouth! <laughs> Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. How can I help, Detective? Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need a patrol unit to transport a suspect back to Central. Certainly, Detective. You have a message from the coroner. Do you wish to be put through? Yes, ma'am. Carruthers. It's Phelps. I've completed the autopsy. Several wounds to the head from a blunt metal instrument. Closest match would be a socket wrench handle. So the cause of death was the blunt? No, the blows to the head surprisingly were not fatal. Death was from hemorrhage and shock from the fractured ribs and multiple injuries caused by the stomping. Anything else? He's some kind of sex fiend. The tissues of the anus were bruised about one eighth of an inch, but no trace of semen in the anus, vagina, or stomach. Ah! Thanks, Doc. Operator, give me R and I. Any word on an owner for that vehicle? License he, was two boy eight. He went down the Chaco Tunnel. Yes, ah. detective. The plate belongs to a brown 1936 Pontiac. Registered owner is one Alonzo Mendez. A 402 South Fremont Street, apartment 16. Thanks. Any other messages? One, detective. From Captain Donnelly. He wants any and all suspects returned to Central. Interviews to be set up immediately. Got it. We're coming in. That reminds me of an old uh, prop, an old piece of advice an Indian chief once told me. If the Red Rivers are flowing, take the dirt path. Hey, there's such a thing as soap, you know. This is a busy street, okay? God damn it! The ladies fall over. I gotta find a lady. Mendez's apartment. Alonzo Mendez. Sound like a man who moonlights as the werewolf? Don't sound like a man I'd let my daughter in right here. You've got a daughter. Spend enough time drinking, Cole. You'll find yourself with any number of things you don't want when you're sober. So that's why you never sober up. Exactly. Uh, 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 uh. Carruthers said she took a real pounding. Maybe if he had been a little firmer in the beginning, he wouldn't be in this situation now. I imagine that Neanderthal routine is a big hit with the ladies, Galloway. Women love me, Phelps. I have no complexity. They know exactly what they're gonna get. My partner's such a dick. I don't like he's an asshole. That's the cop from the new Still thing. cool though. Apartment 16. Mendez, apartment 16. He's gonna run. They always run. Fourth floor. Wait, there was a... Oh. That dirt. Here. The apartment's up on the top floor. Mm 
I'd be worried about doing someone in the butt because if, if they get pregnant, they might have a shitty attitude. Don't bother knocking, just kick the door in. Take a look around and see what you can find. What is that? Who leaves sure eggs? Much. Who leaves eggs out on the counter? Whoop, go back. Doesn't give me anything to go on. Another one of those things. Hello. Maybe if no. Hmm. Size eight. Gotta get these to Ray. Size eights could help place Mendez at the scene. <coughs> and they're they're muddy. What is that? Lipstick? Brothers could match the color and brand of the body. Someone got pasta sauce all over this box. I don't know what's going on. Consistent with Celine's injuries, and the blood can be typed. I know what type that blood is. Type nasty. We have the murder weapon. We better get Pinker down here. Why keep it? Why not throw it away? Think these clowns are geniuses? Thank your stars you caught a break. Captain Donald would begin to like you. Hey! What gives? LAPD, you're under arrest. You, why did Do you say that? Now he's gonna, now he's gonna go fucking back. run. Mendez, stop right there. I just gonna freaking run forever. God damn it. What you say is, hey, you won the lottery. And then as they're then they come up to you, then you grab them and then arrest them. You don't need to do this, Alonzo! Now he's in a goddamn car. Why do you have a car parked right there? Get in and drive. Why would he make me drive? Has he not seen me drive? That's like having a cat watch the baby for you instead of a babysitter. Mr. Fluffy, don't let our baby die. We're going to work now. I got an idea. Get him next to my window, Cole. Keep me alongside his vehicle and I'll stop the son of a bitch. Oh, will you, you badass? Don't go to sleep on me. Give me back in clothes. Sorry. Build the city. I'm trying to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. You're under arrest for the murder of Celine Henry. Freeze, buddy. If you didn't commit a crime, you just did by running. Fucking idiot. I ain't saying a goddamn thing.
You did a grand job, lads. Phelps, that's quite a way to acquit yourself in your first outing as a homicide investigator. It seems the city has a new and vengeful guardian. Considering the evidence against your suspect and the thoroughness with which your report was compiled, I foresee a safe passage through the courts and the DA agrees with me. Brutality on a scale such as this deserves retribution. The people and the press of this city demand it. Not your buddy, guy. I'm not your buddy, friend. 